Second morning in the US of A and myself and William had a very busy day ahead packed full of more NFL related challenges. We'd already failed in the gym and on the football pitch yesterday so we weren't exactly optimistic arriving at the Lockhart Smokehouse. So it's the second day on mine and Will's Dallas, Texas NFL journey isn't it William? Yeah we're in Lockhart Smokehouse to consume 9,000 calories. Why that Jack? Why 9,000? Yeah. Because have you heard of a guy called JJ Watt? Um, is he the defensive end for the Houston? Texans. You're bang on sir. He famously came out and he said that he consumes 9,000 calories a day. So, as you know, we're trying to become almost an American footballer. Yeah. Almost. So, to be like him, we've got to eat like him. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Bring it on. Come on. There's more than this. There's more than this. What? Come on. So, I'll tell you now. Stop. There's more to come on. Oh, well from. 9,000 calories about to get demolished. How's the meat, Will? This meat's divine. Thank you very much. And I think this was the moment, just four minutes in, that I realised it was never going to happen. I don't even know what half of this is. Hi, hot enough for you? That mac and cheese Jill is a bit too hot for me. Is it? I'm yeah. sorry. Jill. Why do you think spicy is Texas? You can say that again, Jill. Talk me through okay. this. Alright, right in the center we've got ribs. Yeah. This is our pork chop. Yeah. Your shoulder quad. So think about like a beer on your shoulder, like it's a little wiener. This is the brisket, a little fattier down here. Okay. Chicken. Yeah. Right over here. Okay. And uh, you got some sausage. And it's got jalapeno in it, so fair warning. So with Jill's fair warning well and truly issued, myself and Will carried on biting off more than we could chew. I think it was safe to say that it was round about here that Will well and truly hit the meat wall. You right? Huh? You good? Should we get some air? Huh? Should we get some air? Some air? Just had to come outside to kind of digest it, not only in here, but in here. It's 9,000 calories. Who thought that was a smart idea? I mean, these lads are packing it away in a day. We've got to do it in an hour. Oh god. Okay. Can't be done. It actually, I don't think it's possible for a human being to consume this amount of calories. Especially not in one step. So, JJ Watt, I salute you. Again, we have failed at an American challenge. I think I might throw up. On to the next one. So we were to leave the smokehouse as failures, but there was still time for a quick summary from Jill. Just give me a little British voice. You gotta have a little heft to you, really, to get through 9,000 calories. Like, that was five pounds of barbecue. Plus the mac and cheese and the bolster. So there we go, we can't play, we can't train, and we cannot eat like an NFL athlete. But it's time to go back and get changed, as later this evening, we're going to be learning to at least celebrate like one. And now, we are at the AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys. Why, Will? Why? Um, so we're going to try and become cheerleaders. Are we? Yeah. Again, I didn't get that memo. Great. Let's go. Come on. Home to the largest television screen in the world, the AT&T Stadium boasts a crazy 100,000 seats. That's more than Wembley, but unfortunately for both Will and I, we wouldn't be able to use the seats today or even watch the big screen as we had to head out onto the field to meet the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Keep it cool, Jack. Keep it cool. Okay, so the um, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders are uh, just just there. We're gonna go and learn a routine. So when you're ready, mate. Do you want to go first? No, no, after you. Okay. I want to wreck me a bad knee. So. Okay, I mean I can speak to girls, right, but. I'll go. Let's go. Oh, hello. To learn a cheerleader routine, is that okay? Of course, welcome uh, to Dallas. Thank you. Do you just want to do it and I'll just watch? Because, okay, all right. Yeah. 
there. Okay. I've got a five-year plan to actually be here. Good. So, all right, this great. starts today. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah, you're thank you. step on your right foot, and you're just going to step really big with your legs, and then you'll step on your left foot. Then you're going to take another big step to the right, and roll your hips. Maybe it's the skinny jeans. And you roll, Jack. That's right, you roll. so this is the start position. Yes. Can you move up a bit? We can like that. Go. Yeah, got it down, got it down. You know those rare moments in life that you never expected to see yourself ever doing? Yeah, this is completely and utterly one of those moments. We've not got a clue what we're doing. Go Cowboys! So from that to that to that. There we go. That's a good hip roll right there. Oh, you look like you're in pain. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. Okay, you want to try it a little faster maybe? No. These cheerleaders are at the very top of their game. Thousands apply, but only 37 make the team. And yet, two, let's be fair, average soccer players from Sport FC are here making up the numbers. I apologise to everybody watching. How are your splits? Are the splits good? Oh yeah, I'd love to show you. But... Yeah, <laughs> just <laughs> time. I'm going to leave these there, I'm going to say thank you very much, and I'll see you later. I'm going back to England. I can't. Not for me, not for me. I think they did really good. Yeah. You know, it's a short amount of time, and they were so committed. I looked back at one point, and they were hitting it strong. It might not have been right all the time, <laughs> but it was committed. Talent, not so sure, but they definitely gave it their all. Do they have a future in cheerleading? Um, I if, wouldn't, you, if they stay with it, you can put your mind to anything and accomplish it. But yeah, they're going to need a, a lot few nicer more than I am. I would say they <laughs> probably don't have a huge future in cheerleading. Um, they are a little inflexible. They didn't really want to show off their splits, but they definitely gave it all. We had a lot of fun hanging out with them today, and they should probably stick to everything else they're doing in life before they take on cheerleading. So we left the AT&T Stadium still unable to add cheerleading to our CVs. We've now experienced all aspects of American football except one thing a real nfl match so with that said join us in the final episode of sport fc's journey to the nfl when myself and will will be attending a playoff match between the dallas cowboys and the green bay packers it's one you don't want to miss see you then